I'll give you a 10 for all of them. No. I got the paperwork. It's not stolen. <laughs> What's up, Cincinnati American Pickers? You now rocking with your boy D, man. This your sale? Yeah. Yeah, helmets, couple brass pieces. What do you need? Yeah, these are a dollar each. Where you go on these? This one right here is 20 bucks. There's two of these out there. Really. What's that symbol? Masons. Oh, is it the Masons? Yeah. Yeah, this is a very old. I mean, that, that's why it's. Uh, there was two of them. Where you ever found this one? It was. I didn't see it in the other. It was in one of those boxes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you get about three bucks for that, but yeah, this one here is the expensive piece, but like I said, those are a dollar each on those, so I don't know what all you want to do, but... I'll give you a ten for all of them. No, nope. there's about twenty of them in there, count them, six. I'd do fifteen. You're still getting... Then you keep the tub they're in, or where, it was way right over there, is that where you got that at? It was right over here. Yeah, it was on top of those boxes. Right there, right there too. Oh, okay. I'll do 25 for all three. Did you do that? Yeah, it'd be gone. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you. That's not Where'd it come from? Beaver Creek? I got the paperwork, it's not stolen. <laughs> well, you know, he buys signs off of me all the time. This one? What do you got on him? 20. 20 bucks? It's pretty cool. Double sign. We go 30 for the pair? Do that. Let's do it. There you go. Thank you much. Good luck to you. Yeah, you too. This yours? Yeah. What's up, stranger? How you doing? All right. How's it doing? Long time nice Hey, day. how you doing? You doing good out here? Oh yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah. Great day for it. Hey, All good right. luck yeah, to you. These yours? Yeah. What are you asking for them? I'm gonna take fifteen for the pair. Oh, yeah. They're actually from 1953. They got a copyright <laughs> on the side over there. Do they? Yeah, right where your hand is. Right Probably right why I didn't right see right it. Right on that butt right there. Interesting. Right huh. Um, just because this one's nose is broken, would you go 10? I'll do 10 on it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, hopefully, you can get them on without damage them anymore. They're chalkware. Yeah, they're cool for sure. There you go. Appreciate you. Thanks, Good luck to you. What are you asking on these? Uh, yeah, four of them. There you go. Thanks, man. Thank you. Good luck to you. Cincinnati Picker. Yeah. I thought I'd never run into one of you guys, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Appreciate you watching, dude. You doing good here? Yeah. That's right, man. That's the game. That's the game. Are you here every weekend? Uh, I'm trying to be here. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Do you do eBay too? Uh, here and there. Yeah. So. But anything in these is a dollar to two dollars piece or want to make deals here and there, man. Okay. I'll give you two for that. Running out of space. I'll have to go. Thank you. Yep, no problem, man. Good morning. Good morning, brother. How you doing today? All right. Yeah, you gonna make sure nobody don't hurt you? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I got a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Yeah. What you be recording? What's the channel do? It's uh Cincinnati Picker. It's like American Pickers. Kind of. What's up, Cincinnati American Pickers? You now rocking with your boy D, man. Good to meet you, man. I'm nah, John. Yeah, yeah, sir, man. Yes, yeah, sir. What you usually be picking for, man? Anything in particular you like you interested in? A little bit of everything, you know? It's kinda like whatever catches my eye. Like oh, I got you in the right spot then. I got kids and my daughter would love playing with these stickers, I'll tell you that. Well you get as many as you want, my brother, and I'm gonna make you a good deal on them. Hey, buy all the stickers you want, man. I'm telling you, I'm gonna give you a deal. You can't refills, man. A person like me and you go together like peanut butter and jelly. You got that right. Because if you a picker, I'm hey, I got a whole bunch of stuff you can pick. What do you need for these, D? Give me a dollar, brother. Make it two. There's a bunch of stickers in there. My kids will have a ball. Man, hey, I told you, man, you in the right spot, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, brother, I wish I could have showed you the whole tote. Thanks, man. Good luck yeah, to you. Yes, sir, brother. Take it easy, man. No, keep one back. Oh, okay. That was going to give you two. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate, appreciate you. It, man. What do you got on these? Fifteen dollars? Okay. Where you got your backpacks? Um little steel. Most of them are um, are seven. I would say that's I can do seven on that. Seven bucks? Yeah, I've got uh, a few here that that are that are more. Uh, the Pokemon are ten. Uh, I'll give you seven for it. Uh, how about? Uh, Thank you much. Five bucks. Morning. Doing all right. How about yourself? Yeah. I could do eight bucks on that if you want. Okay. Oh, I see. It's a, it's like a box set. You're John, right? Yeah, that's, that's me. What's your name? Jerry. Jerry. Good to see you. Good to see you. You doing good out here? Yeah. I see. Yeah, it's like a whole box set thing. That's cool. Did you paint all of these? I did. That is so cool. Hey, good luck to you. This your bag? Yeah. What you got on it? I'll do 75 for the, for the bag and, and the uh, rack. Uh, the... 75? Yep. It's the racket. Thank you. What do you value the racket at? That racket? I'm not really too sure on the racket. I know that bag is uh, about 125 right now. Look that bag up. It's, uh, that's what they're selling for. I'll put her back. Thank you, man. Good luck to you. Yep, thank you. What did you get for it? I saw the solds, but they were all best offers. One was 75 best offer, one was 45 best offer. What on that bag? Yeah. Yeah, here I'll show you. These are all the completed listings, so that was 45 that took a best offer. That was uh 75 that took a best offer. Yeah, those are the only sold ones. And what website are you looking on? eBay. Yeah, I'm not trying to blow smoke. Just yeah. letting you know what I'm looking at. Yeah, I literally just looked at eBay like uh, two months ago. One sold for 125, one sold for 100, yeah. one sold for 150. Once more of them come on the market, the price goes down. Yeah. That's kind of the way it goes, yeah. Well, yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah. I'd give you 20 for it, but that'd be the most I could do, and you'd yeah, keep could, the racket. Yeah, I could do that alone. No worries, man. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. You too. Oh. What are these? I make them, they're art. Do you really? Five bucks a piece. What do you make this out of? Aluminum, cast it with aluminum and sand. How long does that take? Uh, not too long. When I get a bunch of the balls together, you take a little pincher that pinches sand in the balls. 
stack them up and then pour the aluminum in. That's crazy. I'll give you five bucks for that. That's awesome. To make all the little balls is a time consuming. Oh, I bet it let is, go, man. Pinch, That's wild. Go. Huh. Thank you much. Yep. Good luck to you. Yep. Back at the house, the flea market was fantastic today. I found so much cool stuff. I got uh, this big thing of these vintage NFL helmets. Um, I think you wanted like a dollar a piece for these. I ended up doing a bundle deal with some other things. I think it's pretty much got the whole league in here. And these are like the old logos. Like there's the old uh, Buccaneers logo. There's the old Falcons logo. These don't have a ton of value, but lotted up. I think I'll get around 25 to 30 bucks for them. Um, I paid $25 for the helmets. Um, this piece and this piece right here. This is a vintage brass elevator sign. Uh, vintage antique. I don't know. It definitely has some age to it. The fact that it's brass definitely dates it. Um, just has the max amount of uh, passengers and uh, weight capacity. I don't know what I'll get for this. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. Just a really cool piece. Then uh, this was in it too. The Grand Council of Royal and Select Masters. That just sounds creepy, doesn't it? Uh, I guess this is part of the Freemasons. I don't know. That's definitely not the Freemasons logo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, something interesting. This is brass as well. I'm guessing this was meant to be an ashtray. I don't know, but anytime I find uh, Freemason stuff, I pick it up because there is a market for that stuff. Um, underneath these, I got some vintage NFL cross-stitch patterns. These really aren't that valuable. I saw some selling between 10 to $15, but it falls into that category of way too cool to pass up. I mean, these are just so neat. NFL huddles. So if you want to make some uh, Bears and Seahawks cross-stitch sweaters, there you go. And there's the last one. Yeah, paid a buck each for those. These will probably be long tail, meaning they'll take a long time to sell. And even when they do, I won't get much money for them. But they're just too cool to, uh, you know, pass up. Had to buy those. Um, this right here I thought was neat. This is just like an ice bucket. Penguin. I haven't looked it up yet. I'm not really sure what this is worth, but I only paid two bucks for it. Penguin Hot and Cold Server. Uh, West Bend Aluminum. Sort of has a mid-century modern look to it. Uh, so I grabbed that. Uh, Evil Knievel uh, photo for $5. That's not a real signature. That is a stamped signature. Um, the way you can tell a lot of times is just looking up close. You can see a, a brush stroke or a pen mark. Um, anytime it's really, really even and uniform like that, it's just a dead giveaway that it's um, not a real signature. But I knew that buying it. A um, friend of mine is huge into Evil, so he's getting that. These I thought were really interesting. These are chalkware um, from the 50s. And I did a Google image search and one popped up. Somebody's got one listed, a pair for 150, but I didn't see any completed listings. This is this falls under the category of rare, unusual, unique, but maybe not worth anything. It, it could be worthless to be honest, but hopefully I'll find the right buyer that thinks um, they're as cool as I think they are. This one has a broken nose, which really stinks. Uh, maybe somebody will paint it or try to repair it or something, but I had to snag these for 10 bucks. I thought this was awesome. The guy made these. He was saying he um, took like little aluminum balls and sand and created this. I thought it was super cool. I'm definitely keeping that. Just putting it on my bookshelf. Um, same with this. I just love the look of that book for a dollar. Uh, it's definitely got the Art Deco look to it. A book of famous myths and legends. Let me slide some of this out of the way. Um, I got the two street signs. Both from uh, Golf Club Boulevard. And uh, they're real metal. <laughs> the guy was like, I promise I didn't steal them. You know, I can show you how I bought them uh, from the, I think it was like the city of Beaver Creek or something that was selling these. I paid 30 for the pair. And I think I'll do good with these. i um, selling them as like man cave signs, something like that. Just because people love displaying this kind of stuff in their garage, in their basement, whatever. Um, you know, golfers, I think we'll just eat these up. I'm going to try to get about 50 bucks a piece for these since they are genuine metal street signs. Uh, we'll see. Might take a little while to sell, but keep an eye out for this kind of stuff. It's always, it's always um, the topic. You know what I mean? If it was just like Main Street or something basic, it might not sell. With the fact that it's Golf Club Boulevard, I think will help. I uh, met a really cool guy uh, by the name of D. Had all these stickers. He was going to give them to me for a buck. I just went ahead and gave him two bucks because he was super nice. My kids will just have a blast with these. Um, young kids love stickers. I'll just give them some blank paper and stickers and have them go crazy. Got this bluey backpack. My son is going into kindergarten. 
and he is obsessed with Bluey. I paid seven bucks, and it had a couple bonus bags in here too, which I didn't even realize until I got back. Let's see, we've got this one right here, which is kind of like a shoulder bag, and then this one down here at the bottom, kind of like a pencil case. So yeah, three bags, seven bucks, I'm thrilled. Probably my best find of the day is this vintage Sony boombox. Uh, this is still sealed, new old stock. I paid 30 bucks for it. The guy said it has been sitting in his garage. I guess he just never opened it or used it. He's had it for a long time. I will probably crack this open and show pictures of everything inside when I go to list it. I think I'll get somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 to 100 for it. Um, this boom box in particular isn't very much sought after. It seemed like it was selling for around 30 or 40 bucks if it was in great condition. Uh, but mine being, you know, new old stock, I definitely think I'll get um, some more money for it. You got to keep an eye out for vintage Sony new old stock, um, like the Walkmans, the headphones, just anything like that has some really good value. If this was like a Walkman or something, I would leave it sealed. But since it's just a boom box, I think the person's going to want to see it. And I personally want to see, make sure everything's okay in there. There's not any like rat droppings or anything gross like that. So I'm going to crack it open and uh, take a bunch of pictures before I list it. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.